um, we have the magician and two of wands and this is a lot about planning you've got a plan I'm getting plan 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 three 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 if you guys have been seeing three 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 Empress energy you are in a very good energy in the sense of this is your time whether you feel the good energy it's besides the point the point here is you have to manifest and you need a plan with this magician because the energy is here for you so let's get into this spiritual journey oracle deck and see what your spirit soul your soul is transitioning right now pivot point i love it you are at a fork in the road where an important decision may have a substantial impact this is the planning um your spiritual path there is a greater purpose in life and you are encouraged to explore and embrace the journey to your higher self so this is a pivot point for you and there is a path and i feel you guys have been experiencing this transformation for some time and i have to say Vir virgos you guys know you i i always say in my readings you carry the most air quality element in your energy and that's because you guys are do hermit energy better than anyone but you have to go within and the problem with the hermit is hermit is finding wisdom from your spirit but sometimes virgos you guys get stuck as an air quality in the mind which is that nine of swords that tends to show up in your reads all the time because you, you guys can get stuck but this is a pivot point and it's your path it's your spiritual path you've got to i just feel plan 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 i can't like get enough so let's see this power of perspective for you what is the power of perspective for this soul transition that um spirit is presenting what is the power of perspective here thank you sometimes in the winds of change we find our true direction yes definitely a winds of change a lot has changed this pivot point may not be fun again you are at a fork in the road where an important decision may have substantial impact substantial you guys sometimes in the winds of change the winds of change can be drastic we find our true direction so this pivot point is actually leading you to this direction and the nine of swords energy for you virgo is because it's scary and you want to avoid it but I don't think spirit is going to allow you to because if you do, it's going to create more nine of swords energy for you. So spirit, give me more. What does Virgo need to allow? What does Virgo need to allow? I allow myself to connect with my higher power. I feel like this is such an earth energy um, this month. Um, I can't remember if it was Capricorn or Taurus that got that, but allow yourself to connect to your higher power. We're back to your higher power. This is about you, yourself, your, your, um, where was it? Your, your spiritual path is your higher power. Your higher power is your spiritual path. What your spirit, your soul needs. Let's see what you need to surrender. Okay, that's fast. I knew it. Surrender negative thinking. Could this not be more of a nine of swords or eight of swords energy here, Virgo? So surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. I have to take a deep breath for this one, Virgo, because again, you guys carry the most air qualities in your mind. Um, and I say this from love, okay? When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmation. My empresses, also the strength card, you guys know strength shows up for you, which means you have to tame that. You gotta gain that, that, um, um, self-worth, um, confidence within yourself. All right, so let's get the overall energies to the main spread of this reading now, Spirit. Give me more. We'll elaborate a little more on this, but this has been my Virgo Collective's main focus for some time. Spirit, give me more on the energies for our Virgos. And there goes the devil, right? Very much in the mind. I just feel it's a lot in the mind. Game okay, wrong, Virgo. 
else for Virgo? Six of Swords. Moving on. It's time to move on. The Sun. You know, this Leo energy, um, Lionsgate, works very much with you. Oh, look at what's hiding, Virgo. Look what's hiding. My Nine of Swords. Suffering in Silence. I, I can't even make this up, Virgo, if I wanted to. So you have Wisdom here, which is the Hierophant. You have Emotional Loss, which is the Five of Cups. Of course, the Nine of Swords. The Air Qualities. I keep telling you guys, you carry. And the Chariot here. This chariot is here because it's it's the forward movement that's necessary and this is going to be the winds of change for me because once you're determined for the change meaning you you're embodying this empress magician now you put life into action the change into action for some of you it's going to it had to have ha it had to be drastic because this devil energy, I feel a lot of you weren't moving. And again, I say this reading out of love or goals, but this is what this is the message, okay? Um, can you remember this devil? Ace of Wands, yes. Time to go. If this if you, if you're gonna be in this devil energy, you might as well put it into a new beginning, right? Not fearing new beginnings. You guys know I don't do reversals. You know, not getting stuck on rejection emotionally. Game around the devil. But moving forward, putting that energy elsewhere. Yeah, four of swords, not getting stuck, not overthinking it. More overthinking, more pause energy. Again, this is where you do it best. This is also your element, earth. So you're going to feel maybe more relaxed and maybe this clarity about this devil energy or the shadow aspects of ourselves becomes clear. And it shows you, Chariot, again, where we're not taking action. So you're more of this wisdom. Why the Hierophant? And again, Taurus energy, fixed energy. So wisdom, Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you is financial. Um, and this is stabilizing your life. This is about abundance. Again, um, the Empress energy, Ten of Pentacles. How do we have all of our desires? But it be in ways that I feel with this um, hierophant, it can be it's Taurus energy fixed is what I wanted to point out. Fixed energy. We can get stuck with this Ten of Pentacles needing to be a certain way. We've got King of Wands and I feel you need to get into this fire element more of like finding a new direction. That's why Spirit is saying sometimes in the winds of change, this fire this to me um this energetic fire king of wands energy we find true true direction so when we embody that fire element we find a new direction on how to get our ten of pentacles getting more of this um, hierophant yeah tower i knew it look at the tower and the six of wands and spirit is again it's a kind of a spirit force transition because this is the winds of change like epiphany, how do you advance? And it's gonna get you to move. Six of Wands, it's gonna force you to find balance in ways you didn't know how and probably fear to. Okay, more of this emotional loss. The Chariot is back out and the Five of Wands. And this is thus to me, this is the lack of movement here with the Chariot, emotional loss, Five of Cups. Too much fives, two fives here, five of wands, five of cups. This is not allowing things to change, you know, not knowing our own power with the, the chariot and kind of letting the interference of this five of wands, these obstacles, whether it's work, love, friends, family, it doesn't matter, guys, because remember, we're talking about your spiritual energy here i don't focus specifically because we, we want to nurture your energy in this reading and whatever causes these emotional obstacles to not let you move forward right this determination chariot again right to keep you stuck nine of swords to kind of make you overthink probably get into this negative mindset it could be our own battle you more of this nine of swords Ten of Wands. Of course, the Nine of Swords will be burdensome. 
Um, okay, so Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. Did I say the Ten of Swords? I meant Ten of Wands. So things are moving slow. And I think what happens is the overwhelmness of, of all our efforts. Some of you can feel like I'm working too hard and for what? I'm going to tell you why. To me, this Eight of Pentacles is what you're putting your energy to right so we're going to clarify this eight of pentacles because that's why things are going to move slow slow yeah justice magician again and the king of cups right this is two of wands and the magician right this is about our planning this is about our future planning our um making decisions um you know, canceling, you know, the other direction is lack of planning, right? So if we're not planning properly, which I feel right where the efforts of what we're putting our efforts to is not really giving us the justice we want. And spirit is saying is change that, pivot that, because now we need to now nurture ourselves. It's probably making you feel emotionally depleted. Maybe it's not giving you the emotional satisfaction. This is where emotional mastery needs to be gained because the problem is, Virgo, if we're in this nine of swords, is we haven't really mastered emotional mastery yet. We haven't, and honestly, we don't ever master it, but the point is progression where it's not paralyzing us, you know, or putting us at a disadvantage all the time. So I'm gonna get on this um, king of cups. Why the king of cups? Yeah. Nine of Wands, I mean, look at this. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. So this emotional mastery, it kind of puts us on the defense all the time. That's because we get into the, the, our wands, our soul. Wands represent our soul and our soul gets tired. Ten of Wands, remember, we're, we're looking at the Ten of Wands here too. Nine of Swords, our soul gets exhausted. It's too burdensome. And that has a lot to do with, right, we're clarifying where we're putting our efforts nine of pentacles in our 3d life and it's just not really bringing us the return that gives us peace because what we want is peace and i feel this is where the change spirit wants you to just get out of the space see what this tower is let me clarify this tower give me more of this tower it's like it had to happen yeah emperor four of pentacles and the seven of wands too much controlling energy i feel where we're holding back seven of wands maybe too much on the defense not really taking the courage but now it's time to take the courage right to get into some emperor energy because you don't want to be the emperor in reverse right i can read this negatively but there obviously is some of that right and so but then how do we take charge in the way that brings us our fulfillment your ten of pentacles right the way you want life to be you know instead of you know and and it's it's again where you're putting your efforts this could be job relationships friends family it's there's the way you're i feel a depletion right a depleting of energy here getting around the chariot anyway it's so wheel of fortune beautiful and of course you guys been going through this death energy so this trend, this is how spirit works. They force you. This is a spirit force ending to make this change now in the physical world with the chariot. Seven of pentacles. Replant these seeds. The wheel of fortune is here. It's faded. You can't hide from this, my Virgos. This needs to happen and you need to reestablish, re figure this out. This is about how you're going to get here. Right? Moving on. Finding your son, finding your son, your new light, your newfound freedom, your new joy. You know, it ha you have to be optimistic about this. And sometimes it's going to be things we can't control and that's okay, but you got to get comfortable with that because change is never comfortable. Or we can stay stuck like Spirit is saying and be in this five of cups all the time and, and non-movement, right? But again that's the devil right where we, we sit and think and think and think and think and then we don't take action wands are action right it's time to pursue it's time to change it's time to move forward um 
So let's see what your abundance guidance is for September. What do we got for Virgo? Abundance mindset. Of course it is. That's not, Abundance mindset is not the devil and it's not the nine of swords and it's not the surrender negative thinking. It's not this negative thinking. Um, Virgo, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. That's why Spirit is saying surrender this negative thinking. Because if we don't see, think, if we can't, if we're speaking of all the negative things that's happened, oh no, that's not going to, oh no, this is how I feel. No, I've, I've been this. No, then we don't have an abundance mindset, right? You have, you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. And this abundant mindset is to get more optimistic about our plans despite the setbacks. But spirit, you know, again, and it's been a while where it's been demonstrating a self-inflicted setback. And again, it's not, oh yes, see? Oh my God, I, 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 what I'm gonna say next is exactly this Empress energy I keep seeing and why we keep talking about it. Sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all in effects of the, these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So sever the vows of poverty. That's the empress, right? Sometimes this empress can be too giving and this empress can set herself or himself into these vows of poverty out of always needing to nurture everybody else. And Virgos, you guys have this nurturing energy, but what happens is that when taken advantage of, then you're, it hits you hard, right? You go here and it stops you and it stops you from progress. And I think this is where Spirit is saying, really sit back and think about where you're putting your efforts to, who you're giving your energy to, you know, and who, where are you, who you're giving your money, if you're lending money, if you know about your work. This is about getting optimistic about that transition. Ooh, bless me. Truth to that. Anytime I sneeze in a reading, there's a truth to an energy. So, all right, let's see what the guidance is for you, Virgos. More guidance for your soul transition here. Let me put this back. These are all the cards. I don't want all the cards, Spirit. Give me one energy. Does Virgo need to know? Family and friends. It's time to spend with your loved ones. Their love for you will bring you new energy and creativity. Celebrate your relationships. So to me, this is about celebrating the ones who really um, encourage this transition. I do want you to be mindful, though, of those who don't, okay? Um... And then also a, a place of gratitude. Let's see, one more guidance for you, Virgo. Retreat. Ah, yes. This is you right here, Virgo. Retreat. Take a break to clear your mind and energy. Ground yourself. You know what you need to do this month. You know, I think you should spend it with those who can... Um, nourish the kind of grounding you need especially the mindset you need to get into if they are bringing you more of your past energy then they're not then that's not the group you need to be with right you need to get into a space where you're being nourished and you're able to ground yourself and get back into this abundance mindset and this rejuvenating spirit where you bring about change um, but def definitely a time to, to retreat and take care of yourself, which is your season. And it's the best time to do it for you, Virgo. So I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.